If you're on a highway and road runner goes beep beep Just step aside or you might end up in a heap Road runner, road runner runs on the road all day Even the coyote can make him change his ways How's it going out there, YouTube model community? This is Mike, coming from uh, the hobby room. Um, but the first, another update on my Mopar group build that I was hosting last year. I'm still working on my 69 Roadrunner. I thought I'd do a quick update on it. And uh, just, you know, I touched on it on uh, the uh, life changes video, but uh, I might do a little more in depth on what's going on and the plans I'm gonna have uh, uh, for the, for especially for the body. It needs uh, it needs some work um, and all that. Well, let me get the camera repositioned. I can get a little closer to the bench and I can show you what I got. Hang tight. I'm back, gentlemen. With the camera turned around here. I'll start off with the body first. I hadn't done a whole lot of work. It needs some sanding, especially. On those sharp edges right there and uh, I just kind of placed the grill in there and I'm trying to fit the uh, radiator support a little bit better like I said I, I combined three of three kit three different manufacturers of kits just to make this work uh, Johan AMT and the motors I had to rebel dart 125th scale and I got of course the normal you know mold lines to get and uh, I plan to put a vinyl top on it um, and I got these two two greens and the way these are the vinyl tops that I, that I can remember his was a light little bit shade lighter and I think the, this here marsh green is going to do it and I'm probably going to go with the Chris Cartel method of um, of uh, vinyl top with the brush and all that because I think that does the best texture you know I may experiment with some stuff uh, I haven't decided yet on that um, but uh, yeah that's how that works or right, I'm gonna hopefully make it work now I don't know if I've detailed the engine or not but uh, I'm looking at uh, probably three four hours in his engine alone there again Keith Marks decals really good and uh, just keeping at it yeah I detail this engine like I said I, I think I, I showcased it on another video but like I said this is just a recap I got to do a little bit of uh, detail on the oil filter and the oil pump there but uh, not much left to be done I used a wiring uh, I can't remember which kit it was I think it might have been I, I don't remember but anyway there's that and his had a two-tone bench seat, green and light green. Actually, that's pilot interior green <laughs> uh, from one of my airplane kits. But to show you how detailed the, the Keith Marks decals are, I'll show you the steering wheel. And also, his was a column drive, so I had to make a, a column, use a stick pin, trimmed it up. If you notice that in the center, I'll let this camera pick it up, but the detail in the center cap of the steering wheel, that's a roadrunner that says beep beep, and that's a little, that's a decal, Keith Marks, and uh, I trimmed the steering wheel up, his, like I said, his car was triple green, so it had green interior, green exterior, and uh, green vinyl top. Well, also, uh, the dash is, is complete. There's some more Keith Marks decals, which shows the Roadrunners in 69 had a decal on the far passenger side and a uh, aluminum placard or chrome type placard. Also, Keith Marks decals. And of course, the instrument panel. It's also, uh, I think, part of Keith Parks' decals as well. And I went back, and I know the Roadrunners had little chrome plated little knobs and buttons for the you know, various headlights, uh, window washer, ignition, so forth and so on. But, uh, yeah. That's Keith Marks, you're going you're gonna to pay for them decals, but if you want some good, accurate, 
decals and great decals to, to put on. They're, they're super smooth, super thin, and they and they, and, they, and, they, and they're durable. And you could be able to place them, and they, and they are re real nice. Oh, okay. The interior same way. They were vinyl coated cardboard door panels. So I mean, you know, they taxi cab mentality type thing going on there. That's that was the whole purpose of the Roadrunner anyway, the Pullman muscle car. So they just they they have real sparse on the interior. And I, I remember they had the uh, painted metal part of the door, and the rest of it was like down at the bottom. There was some painted, you know, it was just inserts. Uh, cardboard co uh, vinyl covered cardboard is all it was like I said very very cheap and here's the rear seat which is the same as the front but you know the front set uh, I remember he just had the single basically light green in the middle of the panels as well as the front and of course I got some archive pictures he, he let me have of a car so I got a little more reference other than memory also had green carpeting if I'm not mistaken I remember it had green like it was just uh, green all the way through had a four speed hole there I had to fill but that ain't no problem and I put some carpeting down in there like I said the chassis ain't quite I just got the uh, rear housing this is showing a Dana 60 I should have put a uh, 8 3 quarter Sure grip, but I've already mounted that, and I'm, that's the only thing difference. I think his had an eight and three quarter rear end in it, ten bolt, three twenty three, sure grip. Any of you Mopars know what that means? Positive traction. But uh, well, that's where I'm at now. Um, a few other little odds and ends. I'm still trying to. It's a a fitment problem on some of this stuff. So I'm having to trim a fitting problem. So I'm having to trim. Where the uh, various uh, inner fender wells and stuff are, I've uh, kind of mocked this one up out of another kit just to, to get the fit right and trim where I need to trim. It's just tough on this plastic. I know uh, Johan, the detail is just off the chain compared to the AMT kit. I made a video a little, a little while back comparing the AT, a, AMT bodies to the Johan. No contest. The Johan's got it right. I mean, all the way down to the to the angle trunk, um, and also the uh, the actual panel lines coming down through here are perfect on this one. Compared, I, I got I got a real one out there. I can compare the notes, um, but uh, the plastic on these is really really hard, harder type plastic than what your modern kits, uh, AMT and Ravel kits are. So you have to kind of, you know, work at it a little bit more for the plastic to move. And you got to be careful not to break anything because it, it's kind of brittle. But like I said, as far as the details concerned, they're off the chain. And like I'm getting back to the vinyl top, I've got some uh, styrene strips. I don't know what I've done with them, but i got them here someplace. Then I'm going to make the molding to go around the uh, for the vinyl top and, and the seam cover strip that goes on top. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's where I'm at on this car, and hopefully I can start getting more work done on it. And uh, the chrome on this is pretty pretty good. I may strip it and and go with the uh, testers uh, chrome and just spray it. I hadn't decided yet. Same way as the grill, uh, or just may just dull coat it. Let's see how that works. I got I still got to do some detail work on the on the grill inside those uh, the bars and stuff on the grill, which I thought the '69s was a super looking car, man. I tell you, I mean the body and it is all to my opinion, it was almost perfection. I love the B bodies from '68 through '70, and the '71 through '72s are good too, but. Uh, and they, and they got their place, uh, but uh, the 68 through 70s, as far as the Roadrunner is concerned, were the best. Just like the Charger 68 through 70s, you can't beat them. I wasn't that crazy over the 71 Chargers that much. Uh, they Mopar, so they got a special place. I'm getting the text. Well, 
guys i'm gonna cut this off but uh, i appreciate you watching and uh as always y'all out there just take care and god bless each and every one and i do appreciate y'all watching my channel oh yeah guys i want to also add a I cut it off but uh, uh, I made that the life changes video and I, I want to appreciate everyone's comments and I will reply to each and every one of them that means a lot man it's a cool community this is a awesome community uh, as far as that's concerned it can't get no better anywhere on YouTube and, 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 and you guys make it you know give me the drive and the and the uh, desire to, to to do this, I mean, it takes a while for me to build up <laughs> the nerve to build up, to make a video um, of any kind. Trying to get the angles right and the cameras right, and I'm gonna be trying different things over a course. It because uh, I'm limited, I limited myself some space here, but uh, I'll be doing some some experiments. So, you know, if anybody's got any advice on camera setups and things of that nature, just let me know, and I'll give it a shot. But, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to present a good product and uh, some entertainment value. And in, in any way I could help anybody, I'm there. I mean, you know, like I said, I've been on and off doing this for a while. And uh, I think my YouTube has been going on since, I said, the other night, 2013, 14. Now it's probably around 15 or 16. I, I, I got to go back and look at my archive. Uh, but... Uh, it's really you know it's it's helped me a lot and uh and the tips and stuff and i watch your guys you guys videos and and the thing that y'all uh that y'all uh, uh put out there man especially the techniques and the, and the builds of uh or the uh, techniques that y'all use to to come up with detail and and all that that goes a long way because i put it to practice um and like I said, I do appreciate it. And y'all out there, once again, take care. And God bless each and every one of you. And thanks for watching.